Guess what I got today? My new lens. That's right, I've got the 1635L series 2.8 for £650. <laughs> I picked this up two days ago, I took it out today to do some shooting which I'm going to show you in a bit. I have wanted this lens for a long time. Now you might be thinking, why do I need a 16-35? I have a 24-105, I don't need to have that extra little bit. You're wrong. 24-105 is a great lens, you know, it's good for all round filmmaking. It's a great one to have in your kit bag, so no matter what the job, you can get away with it. And it's actually a really nice photography lens. But, 16-35 gives you such a different look and it's beautiful. 24-105 will do an okay job at everything. 50mm will do a very good job with most things. 16-35 will do an incredible job for two things. The first one is very simple. It's the wide, it's the establisher. But they are beautiful wides. They are gorgeous establishers. And that works in corporate, in commercial, in narrative. It works great for that. And also, if you're into landscape photography, it's a brilliant lens for that as well. Moreover, if you're doing projects based on people, kind of short little portrait pieces, documentary pieces, this lens is a great way of getting inside the character because you can get nice and close and you can really get the eyes and it's, it gives you such a unique perspective. 35 is a great portrait focal length, you know, it's great for getting those really nice detailed shots and if you're focusing on product photography or something, it gives you enough in there to go to like a close up and to go from a wide and you can get a real nice minimal focal distance. So, you know, you're not having to, like with my 50 mil, I have to stand quite far away to get that first initial bit in focus. With this thing, you can go right up close. It's Sometimes it feels like a macro lens. To have a lens that is wide, as well as also having that 35 mil lovely focal length, it's just a wonderfully, wonderfully versatile range for that little bracket there. Like I say, it's very specific for what you can use it for, but it does those things really, really well. Now I'm gonna show you some stuff I've gone out into London and shot, and I'm also gonna be picking up the 100 mm macro quite soon. So I'll be showing you some stuff with that as well. Unfortunately, I didn't have anyone with me, so I couldn't get any of those nice portrait shots, but I will be getting them at some point soon. What I should mention is that this is an 82 millimeter thread. So normally you're gonna be having like a 77 if you've got a 24 105, or a lot of the Canon glass tends to be that. But this is 82, so you're gonna to need to get a new ND filter if you're shooting on DSLR and then once you've done that you can just get some step up rings so if you're going to get your first ND get 82 and lots of step ups because you're not really going to be going greater than 82. I wish I'd done that I bought 77 stupidly so now I need to go buy another 82. It's not image stabilized I wish it was but if you put this on in slow motion or you put this on a camera that has image stabilization in it not really much of an issue and to be honest you should be setting it up on a rig anyway like handheld isn't that great. So everything I'm about to show you, I actually shot on my FS700 because that's got internal NDs. I tell you this much, it is a big camera to be carrying around London, I'll show you. So I was walking around London with this, I mean, imagine the handle's there. Like, it's hard to be incognito with this. Trying to do lots of shooting where people don't know you're filming them. So an event, for instance, 24105 is better for that. But this is great for, like I say, capturing those establishing shots. And if you've got access with someone, this is beautiful. I would rather take this over 24105 if I'm doing just a piece about a person, but if I'm doing a piece about lots of people where I need to just be running gun 24105. But what's nice is that it doesn't extend. So what that means is that if you have that on a gimbal, you're gonna be in a much better position than 24105, which actually extends as you zoom in and out. So um, I like that feature a lot. This was the second version of the lens. Uh, there's now three. This works lovely on full frame or on cropped cameras. Um, this actually has a crop of 1.6, so I guess the focal length you're going to be seeing is more like...
Um, below, I'm gonna post a blog link which tells you the first four lenses I think you should buy, first four lenses that I have bought or am buying, um, and this is in there. So read the blog below to see which four lenses you should be getting first. I'll see you next week.